On November 23, 2024, French Foreign Minister Jean-Noël Barat affirmed during a BBC interview that France maintains an unwavering stance in supporting Ukraine against Russian aggression. Barat underscored that Ukraine has the right to use French-supplied scalp long-range missiles to defend itself, including striking targets within Russian territory. While he refrained from confirming whether these missiles have been utilized, his comments reflect a significant moment in France's approach to aiding Ukraine. The scalp missile, also known internationally as the Storm Shadow, represents advanced Franco-British engineering in precision weaponry. With a range exceeding 250 kilometers and sophisticated guidance systems, these missiles are designed to evade enemy defenses and strike high-value targets with precision. Their deployment in the ongoing conflict is pivotal in disrupting Russian military logistics and command centers, amplifying Ukraine's operational capabilities. Since the war's outset in February 2022, Western allies have progressively increased their support for Ukraine. Initial contributions of small arms and humanitarian aid have evolved into sophisticated military support, including U.S.-supplied HIMARS rocket systems, Patriot air defense batteries, and French Caesar howitzers. Additionally, NATO allies have provided training, drones, tanks, and intelligence sharing, enabling Ukraine to sustain its resistance and adapt to evolving challenges. Barrett's remarks come amid reports of the first confirmed strikes on Russian soil using U.S. and U.K. scalp-slash-storm shadow missiles, marking a significant escalation in the conflict. His position aligns with earlier comments by French President Emmanuel Macron, who had signaled that such weaponry could be used for Ukraine's self-defense. These statements collectively underscore France's commitment to supporting Ukraine without arbitrary constraints. During a recent visit to London, Barat met with British Foreign Secretary David Lammy to emphasize the necessity of sustained and unrestricted Western support for Ukraine. Western allies should not set and express red lines, Barat declared, advocating for unity among NATO members. This position underscores the importance of providing Ukraine with the resources needed to counter Russian advances effectively. Recent developments highlight the stakes of this support. U.S. and U.K. missiles have reportedly targeted Russian military sites, and Ukraine has carried out drone strikes on Russian ammunition depots, severely disrupting supply chains. These operations, potentially enabled by Western technology, signify a turning point in the conflict, with Ukraine leveraging advanced capabilities against Russian forces. France's contributions are part of broader NATO efforts to sustain Ukraine's resistance and ensure its sovereignty. Western nations are now focused on long-term aid packages, including financial resources and military equipment. Measures such as seizing Russian assets to fund Ukraine's defense are also under consideration. By eliminating so-called red lines and supplying advanced weaponry like the scalp missile, France sends a clear message of solidarity with Ukraine. This approach highlights the resolve of Western allies to counter Russian aggression and support Ukraine for as long as necessary, ensuring its territorial integrity and sovereignty remain intact. Thank you.